Hello, beautiful people. My name is Ashley and I'm the owner and creator of Rekindled Kindled. If you clicked on this video, you're interested in my review of the 13 pound wax melter from I Love Sense. So if that's something you're interested in continuing to watch, stick around. So I'm just going to start by saying I have never used a wax melter with a spigot. So that's going to be a completely new experience for me as my Presto Pot wax melter before this didn't have a spigot. Uh, so this is going to be completely new. To start, the actual wax melter took about 25 minutes to assemble. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up since it's not on yet. So. You start by assembling these legs here, and uh, there's a step-by-step -step guide that comes with it that's pretty self-explanatory. It made the process extremely simple. Uh, so you start by assembling each of the four legs and then the two handles, and all of this is done while the pot is upside down on its uh, top. And then finally, you go ahead and assemble the um, actual spigot, which was probably the hardest part for me. It's uh, it's just really hard to get it nice and tight. Um, but once it's on there, it's on. So you can see that. And then this here um, handle, it comes in the on mode and you just gotta remember to turn it off, right? Cause once you go ahead and plug it in to start melting, you don't want your um, wax to pour out of the spout. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in, fill it with wax, and we're going to use it to make a candle uh, just to kind of see how everything works. And I can give you my honest feedback of the melting process, getting it to pour through the actual spigot, how long it takes to heat up and things like that. Of course, I do know this is uh, the foundation of this actual wax melter is like a Presto Pot. You can see it on the lid. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and talk through the whole process uh, just to give you all a good idea of what this is like. All right, so I've gone ahead and filled it almost to the top. And then once it melts down a little, I'll go ahead and add more. I am plugging it in. It's plugged in. Now we're going to put it on the M and warm so it doesn't get too hot, but it gets hot enough I'm trying to get you all a good angle perfect so we'll come back with this completely melted and then we'll make a candle and see how everything goes it's about a full hour later and everything is pretty much melted and uh except for that little piece floating right there um, so this is about 13 pounds of wax. This wax melter holds 13 pounds. And as you can see, it's not filled absolutely to the top. Um, but it took about an hour to melt completely, which is pretty on par with my experience with Presto Pots. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using the, the spout, which I've never used before, to pour two candles just to kind of see how it works. Um, and then talk about it. So this seems to be the best angle for you all to see everything. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the scale. I need to weigh out 22 pounds and because it's the first time I'm using it, I'm probably just gonna hold it up a little bit closer to start out. All right. And now that I know like there's a steady stream, I can go ahead and put it down. This, this stream is like awesome. I'm gonna open it up a little wider, even wider. And then this is it all the way open. So that's a pretty big stream. Um, we're getting close. 21, 22. All right, so we have 22.15. And as soon as you close the spout here, you can see that it's dripping, but um, I'm at 22.15 and those maybe four, five, six drops aren't really doing much. It's gone up to 22.19. So do with that information what you will. So um, whenever you're weighing out wax, it's probably good to account for whatever drippage is still there. 
Um, it looks like there's about one drop left, so I'm just gonna dab it so there's no dripping. Just with that. All right, so gone ahead and dabbed it. So we have 22.19, which is perfect for me to go ahead and make the candle I wanna make. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the fragrance oil. And then I'm going to come back and talk a little bit about what this is like. Okay, so after pouring those two candles, a couple things that I noticed, um, when you open the spout, you can choose the flow that you would like. So immediately when you turn it just slightly, you can have a pretty slow, steady stream, but the more you turn it, the spout can, can shoot out lots of wax. So be cautious of that. Um, the the wider you have it the more wax comes out which makes sense but once you get close to the amount of wax that you want in your picture picture you want to make sure that you're closing off the spout um another thing that i noticed is the wax is at a much lower temperature than it normally i shouldn't say much lower it's about 10 degrees cooler than it would normally be um than me like ladling out so i'm assuming because it's like coming out in um through the picture um at that speed it kind of cools it down a little bit so it might help to heat up your wax just a little bit warmer than you normally would to offset that that sort of 10 degree difference and um finally i think it's a pretty awesome pit uh wax melter like it i can see how this could speed up the process of candle making simply because you can get so much more wax poured in such a short amount of time um like i said this is the first time i'm using a wax melter with a spigot and i poured two candles in maybe three to five minutes um and if you are someone who likes to pour candles at a cooler temperature, this could be cool too because it does cool down the the wax as it's coming through the spigot. And I'm assuming it's because uh, such a small amount comes through at once in comparison to like a ladle that's like four ounces of the liquid. Um, so yeah, I think if I had to rate this, I would give it a solid nine out of 10. Um, it's extremely awesome. The only thing I would like to like counteract is the dripping that happens from the spout. So, um, even after I, um, dabbed it, I had to dab it like two more times to stop it from dripping. But now that I've dabbed, dabbed it those two times, you can see that there's nothing else coming out. This is also really hot. Um, that's something to be extremely cautious of. Like this is all metal right so don't grab it the only thing that you should be touching is the handle or um the little spinner i do recommend the handle more because you're less likely to touch any of the metal components because all of like even this little metal part that like connects to the spigot is pretty hot as well so and then here you can see my candles they're starting to cool but anyway, um, that's my review of the Isle of Scents wax warmer. Uh, just to be completely clear, I was sent it in the 13 pound um, wax melter with the spigot and a handle. Um, it took about 25 minutes to assemble. It took a full hour to melt all about 13 pounds and um make sure that when you order your wax melter with spigot that you get some sort of thing to put under it i know for sure that they do sell bases or foundations or stands um through the same company that the uh that the wax melter came from um, I'm going to link everything I've mentioned down below. I'll also link the stand that I purchased. Um, 
And if you all have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. Thank you so much for sticking around for the video. I hope I truly helped you. Um, and if there's anything else you'd like to see, please let me know. Have a good one. Thank you.